in the heart of a bustling city nestled between towering skyscrapers and the cacophony of daily life, there lived a man named Siddhartha. Siddhartha was a successful businessman, known for his wealth and influence, but he was burdened by the relentless stress and anxiety that came with his lifestyle. One day, as he navigated the concrete jungle, he chanced upon a group of people sitting in a serene park, listening to the teachings of a wise old man. This man was a Buddhist monk who radiated a sense of inner peace that seemed to transcend the chaos of the city. Intrigued, Siddhartha took a seat among the audience and listened attentively. The monk spoke of cleansing one's mind, a concept Siddhartha had never considered before. He explained how our minds were like muddy water, clouded by desires, attachments, and worries. He compared the clarity of a clean mind to a calm and still pond, reflecting the world's beauty without distortion. Siddhartha was captivated by this idea. The monk continued, in order to live a beautiful and meaningful life, one must cleanse their mind of impurities. Just as you clean a dirty cloth, you must cleanse your mind to reveal your true nature. Siddhartha was moved by the monk's words. He realized that his relentless pursuit of material wealth had made his mind murky and turbulent. He had grown distant from his own true self, never taking the time to look within. The monk's teachings resonated deeply with him, and he decided to embark on a journey to clean his mind and find a more beautiful and meaningful life. Siddhartha sold his business, distributed his wealth to the needy, and donned simple robes to become a disciple of the monk. He followed the monk to a serene monastery nestled in the foothills, far away from the chaos of the city. Here, he began his quest to cleanse his mind. Days turned into weeks, and Siddhartha learned the art of meditation. He discovered that by observing his thoughts without judgment, he could gradually let go of his attachments and desires. As he delved deeper into this practice, his mind began to clear, just like the muddy water settling in a pond. With a clean mind, Siddhartha found a newfound sense of inner peace and clarity. He felt a profound connection to the world around him, as if he were seeing it for the first time. He realized that true beauty could be found in the simplest of things, a blooming flower, a gentle breeze, a smile from a fellow monk. One day, as Siddhartha meditated by a tranquil pond in the monastery, he saw his reflection in the still water. His face was calm, and his eyes held a deep serenity. It was then that he understood the monk's teachings on cleansing the mind and living a beautiful life. Siddhartha returned to the city, not as a wealthy businessman, but as a humble monk. He shared the lessons he had learned with those who would listen. He spoke of the importance of cleansing the mind, of letting go of attachments, and of finding true beauty in life's simplicity. His words resonated with many, and the people began to change their way of life. They, too, sought to cleanse their minds and find a more beautiful and meaningful existence. The city transformed, becoming a place where people valued inner peace and compassion over material wealth. In the end, Siddhartha's journey from a life of opulence to one of simplicity taught him that true beauty is not in the external, but in the internal. By cleansing the mind and letting go of worldly attachments, one can discover the profound beauty that exists within and all around us, just as he had learned from the wise Buddhist monk in the Serene Park. Like and subscribe for more.